Well, joining us to talk about all of this is Jagmohan Dalmia, the man in charge of the BCCI. At the moment, I spoke to him earlier in Calcutta and began by asking him about what exactly are his roles and his powers, given that there's so much confusion. In fact, there are even legal doubts over this entire changeover that's happened in the BCCI and whether he could clarify to us that what is his specific mandate? What is he empowered to do? Yeah. Uh, powers have been given that I will be acting as a president or looking to the right, whatever I have to exercise. But as far as I am concerned, I am not so much bothered about what position they are giving. But at the same time, it has come out to that I will be given adequate uh, powers to, to go ahead and look into the matter. No, because uh, Mr. Dalmia, there are worries that because you seem very uncertain about your powers. And this is why there are worries, legitimate worries that this is really no change at all that N. Srinivasan will continue to be the proxy head. He will continue to rubber stamp all decisions taken by the board. Uh, that is uh, probably, <laughs> it is a wishful thinking and it is not like this. And uh, I think that time will show what it is. Well, wishful thinking is what you say, but still, uh, Mr. Dalmia, these are questions to be asked. Now, uh, the question again uh, to you is that one of the things that we're expecting you to do is to appoint the third member of the disciplinary committee who has resigned, Sanjay Jagdale. Now, in the interest of ensuring that all of this is done in a transparent way, who will appoint that third member? Will you appoint that third member? Uh, this is a very important question, but we have to just wait and see because there is a Another member has also resigned. Mm. This has come up in the last moment and we have to look into it and come back to you a little later. No, but Mr. Dalmia, you didn't answer the question then. So who is going to take that decision about appointing the secretary, appointing the treasurer as well who has quit? Uh, will you take those decisions or will Mr. Srinivasan be taking those decisions? As far as secretary is concerned, uh, we have already got a communication that he doesn't want to carry on. As far as uh, another one treasurer is concerned, we have already going through it and so far we have got no communication, but soon we uh, uh, expect the communication. So far, no communication while you are supposed to be in charge of the board, Mr. Dalmia. This is still not clear from your answers. You're being very evasive, very uncertain. Do you have the powers to take these decisions or not? Probably that is what my understanding. But if that is uh, whether available or not, we will know. Uh, we'll come to know by tomorrow. And... I'm not that particular that first I look to the power. My entire approach is to look for the proper uh, dispensation with the uh, cricket. Problem, Mr. Dalmia, this is the reason why that many people describe that entire meeting that took place yesterday as a sham, as a meeting that was essentially designed to ensure that there is no real change in the BCCI. Would you agree that this meeting is a sham? No, it is rather uh, too much. I don't subscribe to this. Yes, undoubtedly, cricket needed the support. Cricket needed the, uh, if there is anything which uh, probably cricket at yes. this juncture was facing the problems. And we all tried to get into it, to sort it out. Idea was not to bring in any such type of sham and other things, I but, think it is too hard. But Mr. Dalmi, I, for the change or the cleanup that you're talking about, there was a feeling, a very strong feeling that the only way that could have been achieved was for Mr. Srinivasan to have resigned. Now, IS Bindra claims he was the only person who brought that up in the board meeting and he had no support from any of you. Is this true? Uh, first, he never said in the meeting, at least I have not never heard. And as far as Bindra is concerned, uh, 
he may have his own opinion and nothing has got to be said about it. But uh, tell me, sir, if Mr. Srinivasan's name is cleared, it's, it, it's certain that he's going to come back? That is what is the scheme of things, sir. Okay, but if he's found guilty, will you be staying on as president and Mr. Srinivasan then is not coming back? I think all the questions are probably hard-hitting and wishful thinking. I think you spare me from these questions. <laughs> from these. I wish I could. These are the questions that people want to know. But tell me, sir, this is now your third innings as board president. Many expected that this was I mean, very unlikely that you would come back, but you have. Would you now that you're in the seat, would you like to stay on and play a longer or deeper role in the BCCI? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if I could serve the cricket and this is enough for me. I don't have any um, wishful thinkings and therefore I would like to leave it at that. Mr. Dalmia, now some have pointed out that if this was meant to be an attempt to clean up cricket, then appointing you as the temporary in charge is somewhat ironic, given that you yourself were expelled from the board in 2005 on allegations of corruption, allegations that were later retracted by the courts. But again, would you describe yourself, therefore, as the right person to come back to clean up cricket? Or is this somewhat an unfortunate turn of events? No, uh, let me clarify. Uh, this was never a such thing that where people just came forward and tried to make up the things. When uh, some such uh, allegations were raised, immediately the board itself came forward and said that they have got nothing to say about it and it was not correct. And it was absolutely unfair. As far as the substantiating this statement, it was in the general meeting of the board. They came forward and in presence of the entire board, they came and they said that this is what it was a mistake on our part to go and take this decision. Once they have taken such kind of a U-turn, I don't think that there is any scope for saying this. All right, sir. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us.